Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Pop Vox Presents. I'm Phil Vecchio, and I am excited to have back with us our old friend and excellent musician, Mr. Eric Kennedy. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yes, welcome, welcome back. Before we get into it, I got to also say hello to Janelle, who is running things behind the scenes here. Hello. I'm wearing a green shirt, so I had to like zip up my sweatshirt. Oh, so we can't see through you. Yeah, because you don't disappear. I look weird. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, happy, happy, uh, late St. Patrick's Day. Yes. Thank Wish you. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's a tough day for live streamers everywhere when they have to yes. like wear green and yeah. Fortunately, yeah. we did it the day after, so we're all good. <laughs> you know what? It'd be nice to just wear like a black shirt or something like that and just put the word green on it, and that way you smart your imagination. Smart, yes. That's so good. So clever. Because then you can say I'm wearing green, literally. Exactly. No, it, it works. Everything, you just put the word green on everything, and <laughs> you're set. I love it. Eric, what's been happening? We we last oh. spoke with you at Pop Vox, uh, or sorry, at Blue Christmas yeah. uh, back in December. But you've had so much going on all over the place. What's what's the update? It's been there's been a lot going on. I, I you know I wish there was um, more music. I, there was a lot of music. Getting everything ready for the uh, Christmas compilation, <laughs> all of that. That was a lot of work. You know, working nine to five and yeah. living life. You know, and then trying to squeeze all that in. Super thankful it all came together in the last second. That's how I live my life. I feel like. <laughs> But yeah, it's been it's been busy. I've had since the new year. Um, I did release uh, another song and uh, from my own music um, right 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 after uh, Christmas, and then um, been kind of just trying to catch up with life. Everything's been open and busy, and um, I went to a, my first big trip since uh, COVID on an airplane. <laughs> Ooh, where'd you go? So we got to go to Idaho for a wedding, a real country wedding, and <laughs> it was like cold, 14 degrees. Oh man. Beautiful hundred something year old schoolhouse that was in the in, in the middle of uh yeah, middle of Idaho. It was it was really beautiful. My nephew got married. So super that was a great experience. Had fun, family time, but I'm ready to get back to doing some more music and uh yeah, that's my my hope. Nice. Yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of Eric Kennedy music on the horizon here. Very exciting. Yeah, I hope. I hope. <laughs> past past viewers may remember you coming on both as a solo project, as Freezer Burn Continuum. We did August yeah. Moons. Do we do? Is there another one we did? Or we did a couple. We did a couple little ones with me. I think what the first Tester one. I think was that's the right. And then, you were yeah. the first ever Pop Box oh. Presents. Yeah, thank you. That was fun. Um, yeah, I, I've been, there's been some things boiling. I've been trying to go, you know, I live to, to the chagrin of others I've worked with. Uh, <laughs> I, I live in the past a little bit and then I live in the future. I'm like in the multiverse of Eric's mind all the time. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I, it, which is cool because, you know, I love everything that I've been part of, like every person I've worked with. I feel like I've shared my life experience and maybe for some people it's like, Oh, that was part of my life. I'm gone. I'm still living there a little bit still. So like, I, I like to bring back some of these songs that we've worked at work together in the past with. Um, that's why I love working with my old bandmates and putting these songs out on the compilations. Um, it's just, I love everybody I've worked with. I love all the music. So I keep, I keep kind of dabbling back there, but I'm trying to push forward as well so that's awesome <laughs> you know i was just actually talking with someone about you this morning someone was asking me about you uh oh. through i mean i'm just gonna this is a, a sidetrack here but through a mutual friend and bandmate of yours so christopher bright oh yes who is drummer mm -hmm. and all around music musical extraordinaire oh. uh life is my soundtrack now but yes. he was in uh, paravel with you yes and then also helped record Many he's he's other well. He's my like. He has just changed my life. I, because of him, I, my music is mastered. Let's just say that. And then also, <laughs> just he's impacted my life forever. Anyway, but like, yeah, one of my bandmates in Paravel, and uh, yeah. So he's a, he's recently, he has been on a YouTube channel 
a uh, friend of ours, Mort's Garage is the name of the YouTube channel. Oh, really? And he went on there showing off his like uh, video game collection. Oh, I and I think he's actually done, I don't know, two or three appearances, and he's got another one where he's like going to reveal more of his collection. Oh. Anyway, so right. I actually saw Mort, the guy who runs that mm-hmm. channel, who and we were talking about Christopher, and he's like, "Hey, how's Eric doing?" You know, from uh, the rest of the band, Paravel and everything, and oh, fine. so anyway, because he was in a band that was also on yeah. the first ever Pop Vox CD, Javert, and then mm-hmm. August Moons was on that. So this, it all goes. It's a big web. So you know, cool. I love it. It's our small little universe. It's fantastic. It's, it's, a, um, it's a it's a great scene. Yeah, I he's yeah I I I'm always amazed by him and how much he's the most productive person I've ever met in my entire life. And <laughs> it comes from a lot of discipline, and he's just able to go. Yeah, and it's amazing. There's a lot of life is my soundtrack. There are so much, like it's an, I can't and it's all quality. I don't understand how he can great. do it. Yeah. It's amazing. 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 Well, we, uh, we've had so much like amazing Eric Kennedy, uh, quality stuff coming out. And so what I want to know is what's the, I mean, I know you've got, you released some songs here and there. What's, what's next. We're going to watch some of what's current, but what's next. What's next. So I would really like to try to release a few more songs in the same path I've been running for the last couple of years um for the eric ek project stuff um so i could i'd like to do a i'd like to release it as an album so that would be one thing i would like to do um i would like to also i have a whole project that i just kind of got i got motivated was moving through it and then i kind of got like mired and i just don't know should it continue should it not i think it should but like it's gonna take a lot of effort um, but it's, it's based off of the uh, tsunami that happened in Japan. Cause we were able to go and help refurbish, oh, yeah. or, uh, like, go demo some homes so they could be like rebuilt and stuff and, uh, just made a big impact. So like it has that whole theme and, and I have about, I have all the titles of the songs cause I'm weird. I run, I like <laughs> often write titles before I even write a song. Huh. And so I have the titles of the songs. I have the lyrics for probably eight of them. And I have the core, like the, the music and everything for about six and a half of them. Okay. So I just need to finish it. But the big part is, is like, it really challenges my musicology, musicality, <laughs> right? Because I've been using, I don't have a band and I am, I can play music and I'm a musician <laughs> and I'm a songwriter, but am I a great musician? That's why amazing friends help me have good music <laughs> because you know, that's where they shine and my shining is, is nece- not necessarily in great music. So that's where I get a little bit intimidated because like, it's like, I want to bring this out and I want it to be great. But so that's, that's where it is. Cause it wouldn't be using necessarily like garage band, like all my other releases are, I'm just using purely garage band instruments, nothing else. Right. Um, which is a challenge and fun. Um, but I, I would really like to do like some legitimate guitars and bass and all that kind of stuff. Sure. So, we'll well see. we'll that's see. That's a really cool sounding project. I like that. I, I would like to do that. And then I, I, I was looking through some stuff and I have some, I'm part of a men's group now on Thursday nights and they asked me to like open it up and, and at my church. And uh, I, so I played, um, I played a, a couple worship songs and I was like, one of them was mine. I had pulled it out. I just found it. I was like, what am I going to play? <laughs> and so, and it just felt like a fit. So anyway, I was like, man, I need to really record some of these too. So I'd like to record a couple of my worship songs Ooh, too. That's I've cool. Never really done that ever. Wow. I, you know, like, yeah. But anyway, it'll be fun. I love it. You've every like you've got so such a great diversity in all the different <laughs> stuff that you do. It's Are fantastic. Okay? It's good. It's good. <laughs> man. But that's yeah, exciting. and then. Just be, be beyond that. Just try. I actually, even like I'm entering a a, a well known uh, TV um, uh, contest reality show. We'll see if I get in. That's right. I, I, that's, I submitted a whole video. It was a lot of work to put it all together. But so yeah, that's super exciting. I hope that I would works out. Love for that to happen. But anyway, that's speaking of TV shows, really quickly, I'm actually going to be on TV this week too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I'm allowed to say it now, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, I can I can say that what show? <laughs> what to watch show? It. You just can't I won't say anything happens. that happens or anything like that. But is it 
the 23rd? March 23rd. March 23rd. So I guess it's technically next week. It's that Thursday, I think. Mm-hmm. 9 a.m. I will be on CBS. Let's Make a Deal. What? Yes. What? <laughs> and uh, it's fun. You should definitely check it out. Oh, I'm going to record. DVR is being set now. Yes. It's, uh, you'll, uh, you my will... wife is watching this right now, and she will set it right now. <laughs> you'll definitely okay, enjoy later. it. It's uh, I don't want to forget. Fun. And actually, Janelle uh, is, is with me on it as well. Yeah. I, I shouldn't just say me, but yeah, pretty. Wow. It's, it's pretty fun. That's exciting. Congratulations. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, it's. You're a media I, superstar. I can't. I can't say anything else about it, but definitely worth watching. And uh, we'll watch. It's. It's pretty fun. <laughs> uh, Big reveal. I know. Both of you I'm guys. Excited. Super exciting. Uh, <laughs> I mean, game shows are just great. I love game yeah. shows. And uh, yeah, we're, keeping your hands busy in a bunch of stuff is really exciting, and it keeps people like I think me and I know you're very creative. It keeps us just keeps us alive and keeps us active and keeps our dreams alive. So it's exciting. It does. And, yeah. So that's talking about that. That's why I was wanting to bring up like so my previous stuff that I've done. Um, I really like the idea of doing music videos. Now, I don't have super a lot of skills. I was a TV film major. Uh-huh. Not, I don't want <laughs> I don't know how quality my, my, my <laughs> skills are, but I'm like, I, I'm creative. So I've been trying to like say, how can I do some stuff? And we were staying in Fillmore at my, my great uncle's house. And um, it's old. Like it's pre, uh, it's turn of the century, 19, oh, wow. 19 something. And his century. mom was born and raised there. Um, and so and he he grew up there. So it's old and he has it like back in time. It's like you go back time and time machine. There's just so much love and care he's put into that home. And they go back there for Thanksgiving and the fourth of July and they have family events. And so we stay there every once in a while. And I was just like, I'm gonna get some footage because it's just it's such a great place. And so I used that footage and I put it in and I made a video for the finest of the fine. Yes. Which is one of my oldest songs. And uh, one of the older songs, well, third song I released, I think. Anyway. So I'm um, very excited that that came together. And it's not, as I said, it's not super pro. Like I was like, now I got to put me in it. And I'm like, <laughs> where do I do that? And I'm in my mom and dad's backyard. Like, you know, whatever. It's just fun. It gives, it gives a visual. I feel like it adds a little, another, angle or a more emotion to the song and it's not a happy happy yay song it's kind of like mm, it's a heartfelt thoughtful yeah. song which is not necessarily always normal from me but i don't know i think it came, came up pretty good for for something i just threw together so i think it's I super know, cool um i saw it to you are we able to show that yeah so i we should have asked this before and but since we're live do you want to do one song and then talk about it or do you want to do them all yeah can block? we do that yeah let's let's can we do that yeah let's do it let's do one song so let's start with finest of the fine here we go
I love that song. It's such a beautiful song. Thank you, man. It's fantastic. Exciting. It was so cool. I'm, I didn't know the story of behind the scenes of the house before either. It actually like really elevates that video. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's such a great place. I mean, they got he made a miniature golf course in the backyard. They got shuffleboard on the front sidewalk. That's awesome. I mean, he's just and he's still working on it. <clears throat> I mean, it's just it's an amazing, and he's got avocado trees and. Ooh. Fruit lemon trees orange trees in the backyard you might like that you know so i do like that <laughs> yeah. um so yeah it was, it's pretty cool and it's yeah the song is just about my my grandfather was and um my grandmother my grandmother they had a family band with my mom and her sisters and they did music my grandfather played the saw and the theremin he played like instruments that he just made up with a broom and a stovepipe so That's i mentioned awesome. all that you know and just and then he also lost his identical twin. He lost his, his twin brother, I think, when he was nine, I think. And um, and so just thinking about how someday he's he's already together with his twin and someday I'll be there singing with them. So that's kind of like the thing. I miss them a lot, you know. Yeah. But uh, that's that's kind of the, the vibe of the video. And I just thought that house fit. And he knew my they he was friends with that side of the family. So um, right. So he's been to that house multiple times too. That's awesome. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful story, and it's 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 such yeah. a great song. I love it. Thank you, man. I'm, I'm excited Sorry. that there's a music video. I mean, like that's that's quality music video stuff there. I like it. It's fun. Thank you. And then I was just thinking. So I changed my background because I was telling you earlier yeah. that I did that whole AI thing and and uh, just put some stuff in just for fun. I was just like, I'll never do. Maybe I'll never do this again. But it has fun. <laughs> well, I did one. I put Japan in. I put I don't know even what I put in. But I'm just like looking at this. I was like, this would be the perfect one for my artwork for my uh, my other project yeah, I was talking about. That's right. like, kind of has that vibe. It looks like a little tsunami coming. Yeah. Yeah. Like a. I don't know. It's a boat mast, maybe. I don't know. But... It looks like like a signpost. Yeah. Yeah. But like there you go. almost frost like. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> anyway. That's fun. No. Yeah. I haven't well, messed around you. much with AI stuff, but my brother has done quite a bit and has shown me some and it's it's, it's kind of freaky it is freaky it's my first try to, i'm like oh, i don't know if i like this <laughs> well, that's cool i mean it's fun great way to mess around with it there yeah it was, it was fun excellent um so i'm being told from over here that we have a question or a comment and oh. i forgot to say hello to all the awesome people who are watching live and to remind you that janelle is monitoring the questions and, or the comments underneath so if you have questions for eric or comments please share them down there <laughs> Janelle, what do we got? Well, Tony already um, got this question answered, but he asked it a, a while ago during the music video, is this the house? Oh, oh yeah, okay, yeah. Very yes. cool. Good question, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and then our kids who are typing in under me right. said that you had a rad music video. Thank Most you. I'd like to point out that they use the correct I think that's a high terminology. Compliment. They've Rad. been trained well, yes. Yeah. And they then Melissa said it was pretty. So excellent, thank you. And thank you uh, Kimberly also, uh, my wife. You know Kimberly. Yeah. She also said she set the DVR just oh. in case. Oh, excellent, <laughs> excellent. Thank, thank you, Kimberly. <laughs> Already done. Very nice. Sweet. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. That's great. Oh. Um. Oh, I was gonna so. I think that what was the next video I sent you that was it the August Moons 007. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talking about going back in time. Yes. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, I was in a band called August Moons with amazing people. Many moons were part of it. And uh, many moons ago. And uh, <laughs> but 007, uh, Jason McElfresh. Um, he, my, my friend and bassist, uh, he laid down bass for this a long time ago. We've been planning to work on it for a few years at least. Um, and just haven't done anything with it. So I just thought, you know, I was going to play it acoustically. I was like, you know what? It'd be a lot more fun just to sing to the bass line, turn the lights down in my house, use a, a blue light, 
And then I found some filters and I just had fun with it and just sang it live. So it's not perfect, but it was really fun. And I, I definitely going to post it on my, my YouTube page because I had, I had a good time with it. So. Oh, for sure. But yeah, so that's, that's one of the things I did because I just like, I wanted to have a performance for here and that's just kind of what it turned into. <laughs> Well, shall we check it out then? Is that cool? Let's do it. Let's watch right. 007. very fun indeed it came up fun <laughs> it's great how did you do that with all the tv things is that just oh, a man filter? it's called instagram filters uh, okay yeah. it looks like a yeah man video to me. so i just i just videoed i have a glow light i can change colors on and then i just put that under my chin i set up stuff in my room turned the lights off and then after i recorded it i just kept putting it through a bunch of different filters and then i found the tv one because like oh, that fits yeah like you know, I don't know. And it was, it was fun. That's just, great. All kind of came together. I didn't know how I was going to look in the end, but it's, that's how I roll. I just kind of, I have a general idea and then I just discover that's not my creativity works best. Um, I like it's it. Fun. It's I really agree. bad for people who plan everything out because <laughs> I just don't know. I'm just like, let's just see where it goes. So that's, that's my life. But yeah, I, I'm excited about it. And August moons, we haven't done much other, we did do the compilation, which was a huge, cool thing. Like had, had like a record number of people come together for that project. That awesome. And, um, and it really had the vibe of, of August moon. So that was really, really fun. Um, we've had different phases of, as I've kind of talked about before, 
Um, but this uh, 007s one, actually from like when we had the full band with violin and everything. Um, oh, really? We played it a, a few times, um, once with the Insiders. Oh, yeah. The sh uh, show we played with the Insiders. And I was at that show. <laughs> yeah. The Halloween one, right? Yeah. Yep. We played it there, and uh, yeah, and but it never just got finished and really, really finished and recorded. So I, I still have a dream because I really like the energy of that song. I think it's super fun. So we'll we'll see. I hope awesome. I hope we can bring it together. And then I also want to bring up for August Moons. I'm planning on releasing um, later on around 2000, um, and it was like me, Reese, uh, Dave, who's passed away since. Um, and uh, we had Nick, and we had um, who I cannot think. Jason, no, that's. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Give me a second. Are you uh, thinking of what? and Matt Harbor. Yeah, <laughs> we had Matt Harbor. We had we've changed a few times, but anyway, that was kind of our configuration. And actually, when we recorded it, Nick wasn't in the van at the time, so we had our friend Ed. He played with us. Uh, he was actually our. He helped us with roadie stuff and everything. Amazing guy. He's stuck around with us forever and a really good and close. He's definitely a moon, but uh, <laughs> he recorded the bass for us on that. But um, we did a, a recording. It was live, done live. We did a few takes, and we, we recorded it, and then we released it as, just at our shows, we released it as a um, little EP. But I'd like to put it out um, by May. I, I'm planning on getting that out, and um, I'm putting together the artwork for it right now. What's that so, one so. called? Is that good? It, I'm trying to remember. Let me Is see. Galactic, uh, maybe? No, it was called, we're calling it the Edge of the Planet EP. That's right. Had Edge of the Planet, uh, Spooked, songs, yeah. some fun songs on it. Um, so I'm excited to get that. I mean, we did Melt for that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my copy somewhere. Yeah. Actually, I know exactly where. I don't know. I'm so we're going to re re-release that, but that people can stream it on, um, you know, whatever they're listening to, so make it a little more accessible. That's awesome. But, that, but other than that, like, I don't have any huge plans going on we have a couple like a bunch of stuff like in between phases everybody's busy and so we just kind of everybody tries to squeeze it in when they can so i'll let you know all right i'm looking forward to that speaking of the christmas cd that you mentioned we actually have another comment here but this oh, yeah. one is not a live comment <laughs> this one was actually emailed to me and uh oh. it was emailed to me a little bit ago and i saved it for this um because it was from a friend of ours who is actually was at the, the Blue Christmas live stream, R.B. Brown. Yes. Who we've done some releases with him. Amazing. Awesome, awesome Amazing. musician from uh, yeah. Australia. Yes. And he sent me an email um, a few weeks ago, and I figured I would save it since I knew you are coming on the show. And he said, um, hey, just wanted to say uh, he enjoyed the Christmas CD. After listening for it to, for a little bit, he said, the standout track for me is Christmas Mystery. Can you please pass on to Eric? Pass that oh, on to Eric. That and he said, lot. in his opinion, it's an awesome example of like a new wave style. He said in question marks, like I think. But anyway, he yeah, liked I don't know it. what style it is, but it's just whatever. He said, it's a very clever song. I'm loving it. Oh, and he said, I also you. really like the Freezer Burn Continuum. Oh, wow. Yay. So thank you to R.B. Yes, Brown. Yes, thank you, R.B. Brown. Wow. Check out his releases thank on Pop Off Music. You, thank you. And uh, I figured that would be a good one to read now to talk a little bit about the Freezer Burn Continuum. Yes, Freezer Burn Continuum has been, uh, well, as those of you who don't know, but like it was a band, that was my very first band, Freezer Burn. I started in high school. And then, you know, we've, a couple of the bandmates moved away. Everybody kind of did their thing. And then years and years later, um, me and the guitarist started doing stuff together and um, we've just been starting to really, we were recording it, started to kind of revisit Freezer Burn. And we're like, we have other ideas, acoustic. We have other ideas that are just very different. So kind of a California feel. So we kind of created this idea of like the Freezer Burn Continuum is this overarching project and underneath it is the free, uh, is Freezer Burn, um, Lonely Birds. So Dream Tide, we have these different things. We actually have like a, you know, a kind of a, new wave pop uh techno stuff that we were gonna we'd like to do too we have some songs in in process so nice. but anyway that's kind of what what that is um and then brad man he's his work has been very crazy so like it kind of relies <laughs> on him having the time and we just same thing when you're doing collaborative projects so i'm i'm really hopeful um this summer we'll have some releases out um 
and 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 I'm really excited. So I, I sent I sent you snippets because I didn't want to give all the way, and it's right. not all done. It's still being worked on. So, but just kind of a taste test of some of the things that we're working on, and it makes me so excited. Like I don't, I can't even like, tell you how excited I am about this music. So, um, yeah. So anyway, awesome. Every, if you so want have, to yeah, it's a great that, sneak like, peek. I hope other people are as excited about it as I am. A montage, if you will. Yeah, a preview, a demo reel. Yeah, it's just like it's just like just like little snippets. Excellent. All right, let's check out a preview yeah. of Freezer Burn Continuum. Excellent. Oh man, that gets me excited. I'm pumped. I'm, I'm really excited. I mean, and all that stuff, like Brad, he's so modest, but he is incredible. And like the musicianship that he brings to the stuff is just like, it inspires me. And then I'm able to like uh, rearrange some of the stuff. So I kind of do the arranging and he does the musicianship and it's just the stuff he comes up with is so cool. So anyway, I'm really, 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 really excited about the new stuff. I feel like we have a vision and a direction. So anyway. I'm excited as well. It's just, it really, sounds really, really good. Cool. So much good stuff. I mean, you talked about like other people being prolific, but you've got a lot of stuff going. It's always amazing <laughs> to me. <laughs> I do. <laughs> a lot of things. I just want to get some, I want, you know, but they're getting done. It's like, it's like, when you're working full time and you're doing all these different things, you have to have all these different things in the oven. So like when somebody's able to do something, it can move forward. It's like playing a game, a game of trouble almost. Like it's like you move <laughs> forward and then maybe you have to get sent back home or but but like you're eventually gonna hopefully make it into that ending part and you have like four projects to get done. You know. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's how, a good way that's to look how it at works. It. <laughs> <laughs> the visual I got. But yeah. I don't know. And what really helps is I, I feel like, you know, Phil, you don't understand how much you help to just having, it just gives me things to look forward to things to motivate. It helps motivate. all these motivational factors. Really, gives you really a help. deadline you have to reach. That's deadlines. Oh, you know me and deadlines, man. I just, as you know, even today there was a deadline that was very tightly met and hopefully it all looks good. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's my mess. How I am. I'm just a I I procrastinate way too much. And, um, <laughs> I think that's I, the way of the musician. I don't think you're totally alone in that necessarily. I, <laughs> but I after doing I, this show for like a couple of years now, I can confirm you're not the only one to get me a <laughs> submission for a video at the last minute. <laughs> good, good, good. Yes, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. But anyway, well, so that's that's it for the, and that's a freezer burn. That's like. Out of the um, under the umbrella, that, that project will be freezer burn. Freezer so burn. that's okay. that's the the new freezer burn stuff. Um, that's what we envision what freezer burn looks like now in the, the nice. modern, you know, Bill and Ted's future. You know, that's kind of our, <laughs> our future music. So. Well, so I am super excited about this video that you sent at the last minute when you told me about this on the phone that you were going to do this. The that's concept right. of this video, I was very excited for. Tell us a little bit about this uh, final song we're going to hear. Well, I randomly, I think I was talking to you. I don't know. It came to me like an epiphany because I was struggling for weeks trying to figure out what to do for a music video for Erased and Rewritten, which is my re most recent release. 
and I just couldn't get anything that I really liked. And then I had this weird idea of just painting. Well, I had the picture in my mind, and I'm not going to tell you what the picture is because the picture is what you see at the very end. But that is the picture I had in my mind. Actually, minus minus the landscape that's behind it. Mm, it was okay. just that. And then I, I, as of last night, late, I was like, because I was, I was going to try to do it at night somewhere in the house. And I was like, no, this is way better. <laughs> and I was like, I think I have an easel. Maybe. And I was like <laughs> looking for it this morning. Like, so this is all, yes, very procrastinating, last minute <laughs> inspiration, typical Eric. But this is what came out of it. And literally I finished it at 1.30. <laughs> And then I processed, I was like, please work. And then, so hopefully it's processed in its full capacity and it's going to look good, but it looks good it on is. my and end. I'll, I'll, po I'll post it on, um, if it's not, I'll post it on my site For or sure. you can post it on yours and, and it'll be in its glory. But it's good, it's good enough to look at, I think. Definitely good enough for live stream. It, it turned out great. I added it to the show immediately before uh, we jumped on here. So it's, <laughs> it looks great, though. I, I was able to watch it before and, and it's cool. So. I, it'll be my first time watching the whole thing probably for this one. Really? <laughs> not fast That's forward. It's like, oh. So it's a premiere for all of us then. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's do it. Let's watch Erased and Rewritten.
It came out so cool. Yay. I love it. <sighs> That's super awesome. Did you like know that Eric was like a multi-talented, also <coughs> a painter? I mean, I'm not <laughs> surprised, but no. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't paint very often. Like I think my wife is really shocked that I painted her something once. <laughs> uh, I don't paint very often because I just don't. Like I mean, probably a spattering of times over the last twenty years. But when I was in high school, I was in every art class. Okay. Like, nothing, like any, like, no typing classes, none of this stuff, no extra foreign language classes. I was in the art classes doing all that. I wanted to be an animator. I took graphic design classes. Huh. And then I went to college, became a music major, and a TV film major after that because I couldn't make it to the music major because it was too mathematical. And then <laughs> the, the rest is history, started music bands, and then, like, so I didn't continue on the arts path like obviously that anybody who's a real artist is out well has the technical caliber would see that i did things very wrong i don't I just know keep going until i get it right sometimes it takes multiple times and then i get frustrated but i keep going and i have breakthroughs usually and i'm happy but yeah i think you just described art to me i don't know what you're talking <laughs> about doing it wrong it was very much channeling like your inner bob ross i could picture like <laughs> yes yeah, there's you just need, like a big beard you know <laughs> I could do that, maybe. Uh, no hair. We do have some comments. Yeah, oh, big oh. hair, too, for sure. We have some comments or questions, I understand, you know? Yes, so um, Tony wanted to say, Be beautiful painting of Catalina and the SoCal beach vibe. Eric, you are a renaissance <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Man. Ooh, that's good. That's a good way to say it. And then it. our kids said that was an amazing painting. Thank you very much. We Thank do you have much. Nelly. Who wrote um, in Bulgarian fresh? What? There was no oh, one. thank you. Well, it's N E L I. I'm probably saying. I need okay. a brush up on my Bulgarian. N E L I. Um, fresh. So, really? Fresh. I agree. Very cool. Very, very cool. Well, thank you very much. Um, oh, I also want to bring up my background. Oh, which yeah. Is look at that. Another one of my like AI creations. And I did have, I did write in the description, I wrote Tolkien. Japanese angel? And this is what I got. <laughs> That's so, fantastic. You know, it's a little, It's maybe it's a failure, but it's no. it is interesting. No, I think that, that describes it well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thank you for sharing that. I was excited. I was watching it. It was very, it was fun. Man, the timing came out good, actually, on some of those things. I was just like, literally, I was so, no, so, it was, so very it, happy. It was perfect. It I love it. I love it. Well, Eric, uh, we, oh, go ahead. Well, we just want to say we want to make sure that we can, uh, you know, everyone can find all your music and stuff. Yeah. So please uh, let us know. Janelle will share links and stuff like that. But where all can people find your music and uh, all your various projects? Well, you can find it on YouTube. Um, if you want to look for just for me, it's Eric Kennedy Artist on, I think, Facebook and Instagram, Eric Kennedy Artist. Um, and then um, I, I want to say on youtube i don't know it's eric ek i think ek um, yeah. look up eric ek and then if in each of the each pro each of the projects have their own like paravel you can look up paravel a p-a-r-a-v-e-l-l -L, and you can look up the freezer burn continuum on youtube if you want to find some of our videos some links to our music and we are on spotify we're on apple music everything like that so just look up our names Hopefully it pops up. Usually it does. Sometimes it doesn't, but yeah. <laughs> and then Janelle has the, yeah, the, the link. So yeah. Bandcamp um, also lots of stuff on Bandcamp. I have Bandcamp. Correct. Yes. So if you want to look up, just put the name of the project Paravel or August moons or Eric EK or the freezer burn continuum after, uh, before Bandcamp, it's like Bandcamp. But how does it usually go? It's like Eric EK dot Bandcamp dot com. Um, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I always forget. <laughs> if, you, like if you just go on there and search, it pops up pretty easy search. too, though. Yeah, but and I'll love, share yeah, some links support. in the in the comments and stuff. So yeah, yeah, any support, anything like that. And I'm hoping to do live shows this year. I really want this summer to have a couple live shows. I don't even know what that's going to look like. It might just be me and the guitar uh, in the coffee shop. But I that really counts. want to play with other people too. So we'll see. I'm going to figure it out. Oh, I can't wait. Well, let us know. Of course, we'll. Oh. Uh, point people in your direction when you play live okay no problem 
Awesome. Well, uh, Eric, I want to say thank you so much for thank joining you. us once again. I mean, I, I have lost track of how many times, but no amount would be enough of Eric Kennedy. So we'll always have you, you back man. again and again. Thank you so much. I'm excited to always be here, and it always gets me really, it's really fun. Awesome. Hanging out with you. You're my friend. I know. It's great. I mean, we've we've known each other for so long now. It's just like, it's easy. You it's know, insane. sometimes, I mean... All of my experience doing the Pop Vox Presents have been great, but other, sometimes there's people I've never met before, and it's a lot That's more true. like, yeah. I got to make sure I've done research so I, you know, I know, like, what projects to talk about. I don't want, you know, I want to be prepared so I can have a mm. good conversation, but when with an Eric Kennedy one, I'm like, this is sweet. This is just going to be an easy, fun conversation with my friend Eric, so it's... it's you nice. can actually enjoy your morning before you have... Exactly, yeah. I mean, like, I, I went and did a bunch of stuff this morning, normally, like beginning of like a pop box presents day i'm like okay we gotta buckle down yeah. I got, i'm listening to music and i'm you know doing this and it's just relaxed and cool and i love it i love it well, you're pro dude thank you well thank you so much thank you to everyone who has joined us live or if you're watching later on youtube we uh, love having you as a part of this we will be doing another pop box presents in april it's going to be a little break because spring break is coming up here yeah so uh, we've got josiah z coming on and i'm very excited to have him uh, it's really, really fun stuff there. And uh, Janelle, I want to say thank you for helping us run everything here. Thank you, You're Janelle. Welcome. Thanks for keeping the comment section alive. Oh, my Trying. goodness. Nice. <laughs> whole Vecchio family. I know. Wow. Everyone, oh, and the kids, of course, for be, there are quality control in the other room. Always making sure the stream's working and stuff. So, <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you again, Eric. Yeah. And, oh, I guess one last final shout out. Uh, remind us where we can find Easton stuff. Oh, Easton saying hi. So my son's name is Easton, and um, he uh, has his own little YouTube page. So, yeah, you just look up on YouTube, Easton saying hi. And if you're on any of my stuff, you'll probably see spatterings of him around. But, yeah, he's a little bit of sunshine. Excellent. Yay. Excellent. Hey, Easton, thanks for joining us today. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Pop Vox Presents. Thank you again to everyone. Thank you to Eric. And we'll see you next time uh, yes. back in April. Yep. All right. Have a good Later. one, everybody.